city divided. As Donald Trump touched down in McAllen, Texas Thursday afternoon, protesters and supporters made their voices heard. We want the border wall. We need protection. We're here on the border, and there's a lot of crime that comes across, and we're scared. This is really a manufactured crisis in order to get a symbol that we're going to build between the United States and our, one of our closest allies. At the McAllen border crossing, there is little sign of a security crisis. But people admit that in Mexico, it's not as calm. On this side, in the United States, everything I see is normal. The crisis that exists is the people from Central America and some Mexicans who would like to build a new life on the American side. Many of them are women and children who are looking to escape violence and they are seeking asylum in the United States. The Humanitarian Respite Center in McAllen welcomes immigrants who have been released from Border Patrol detention centers. Since 2014, the center has received over 100,000 people. Sister Norma Pimentel, who runs the center, says the city is not facing a security crisis, but a humanitarian one. The Border Patrol has it under control. The crisis is making sure we have the conditions and the facility to help the families that are passing through. They need some care, and if not, it becomes a big problem for the community. Residents in McAllen, Texas may not agree about the need for a wall here at the border, but whether or not Trump's visit will change minds in Washington and end the government shutdown remains to be seen. It was back in 1850 that Scotsman John McAllen came to South Texas to work as a clerk in the city of Edinburgh, which later would become Hidalgo. In the 1860s, McAllen would marry into a local land-grant family and start acquiring more land. In 1904, the McAllen family and others established the McAllen Town Site Company when the railroad first came to town. People started to build homes, businesses, churches, and schools. And on February the 21st of 1911, the brand new Texas city of McAllen was born. The first decade of McAllen was a time for building. Sacred Heart Church was built 15th and Chicago Avenue, new schools at South 10th and Austin, and at 16th and Chicago. Local merchants built hitching posts to help bring business to the new downtown. The Guerra and Sons grocery store opened at South 17th and Austin. Kreidler Undertaking opened in the back of the Western Union office. And the first public park, which housed Deer, was set up just north of Highway 83 and the common school district number 11 became the McAllen School. I don't know how serious this company is, but it's interesting. It's kind of out of the way. Employment law? Team no sleep management training. You breed champions, and then they got their own Facebook. But this is interesting. We must suffer one of two things. So... They want to uh, really instill um, dealing with hardship. Okay. You have to go through hardship or you'll regret it. Caught up in Cutco a little bit. I ended up just buying my own knives. They actually have their own per like permanent office here. I don't know what the occasion is, but it's very curious. I think it sounds like a live band. It, can, it can't possibly be, but I'll take a look. Oh my God, it really is a live band. And they got music coming from a van. So it's to promote Sheriff Guerra. 
This is such a bad idea. Look at this. They got. I can smell this thing. So I got my attention. It's right here in the corner. Somebody could easily clip it. And I think people have hit it because I'm smelling it. Like maybe it's gotten battered a little bit. It kind of looks like it might be bent out of shape. That is a concern. A, a big natural gas line pipeline right in the corner of an intersection. Uh, it's to serve maybe Dairy Queen, I suppose. And all the uh, whatever other else other businesses there are not sure how piping piping uh, planning piping pipe pipe planning construction how they how they um, f figure what's the best spots to, to set those up, things up but it seems a little dangerous on the corner it's really disturbing to me too is that they've they painted it gray so it's not so um it's not so visible it doesn't stand out it's easy for a bicycler to run into i mean a car these these people are maniacs on the road it looks like it's it's common practice to keep um these these types of these gas lines there, there's not even a warning on this one i think that's for gas pretty exposed somebody can just run it over I don't know. Maybe maybe they maybe statistically it's just not that big of a deal. All right, this may be a dumb move, but I want to hear these grackles all night. I really like. I really like to hear them. Once they step out of the car, though, they're gonna go nuts. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. There's so many of them. Yeah, they freak out. They should they shouldn't move too far down the row though. You listen to them all night and all early in the morning. If I can get away with sleeping overnight here. Oh, there's a McDonald's. I was gonna go to the Walmart, heading towards I don't know that Scottish sounding name. The Target's Target is kind of friendly at times for overnight overnight parking. Yeah, there's so many crackles. They don't really have um, many choices now that it's so late at night. <clears throat> There's so many grackles here. Every tree. And they're freaking out when I walk by the tree. They're, they, oh, there they go. <laughs> all they can do is do a tree shuffle. Uh, sh all they can do is shuffle from tree to tree when I get close. This is kind of entertaining. I just take a walk through the park. Just take a nice friendly walk through the park and these grackles are just going nuts. <laughs> They're just shuffling from one tree. <laughs> because I stopped. So they they were going to let me they were going to stay in the tree if I just walked by, but I had to stop. So they got scared. They're tweeting like crazy. What time is it? It's nine. It's after nine p.m. These grackles are. These grackles are stuck here for the night, but they can. They can definitely tra go f between uh, tree to tree in this nice lit parking lot. And I think Target keeps the light on all night. How many grackles am I gonna? cause to hurt themselves trying to save themselves by flying it in low light like this they could like n land on a branch wrong because I can't see it so easily they're really sticking around the target area <laughs> there's none over here I was thinking you know coming from the library how bored I am and uh, I just go to Walmart and hope for the best and then I I hear the grackles when I stopped at the stoplight next to the target. I'm like, yes, this is my spot. Grackles. They're always a good choice to park next to. I found their camp. Right, so I'm walking over to the Best Buy. I'm really serious about getting a 360 camera. I got this crazy mindset. Like, 
What if I got a helmet and one of them GoPro attachments I could put on the top of the helmet and then put the 360 camera on top and then bicycle or walk around? I just wonder what that would be like. Very curious. I don't know if it's worth $500 to satisfy that curiosity. So I'm just kind of looking at this Max display. You can read it and all that. And then I come around the corner, they just got it sitting right off the shelf. Right on the shelf, you just grab and go. <laughs> it's a first. Alright, so I had some sushi that was a dollar off because it's, I think, older. From the Heeb, H-E-B. And I'm feeling a little woozy. I was feeling woozy a little bit before, but uh, now it's coming more from my stomach. A little concerned. All right, sneaking over here from the library. Police station has a bit of a moat. They got this uh, waterway. I think, yeah, there's... Uh, it uh, doesn't look like it's really rushing fast, but I'm sure it's on a pathway. Not sure which direction. They got a bit of a moat in front of the police station. And it's really nicely, uh, I don't know what you say that, they're bright, it's really nice, nice bright sign. I'm guessing that uh, police cars are in an enclosed type of lot. <clears throat> the city of... It can't be entirely for the police station, can it? And then they got some kind of a bright light. Where is it shining from? Interesting. They got the a padlock. Oh, there it is. Okay. The shine inside. That's pretty neat. Bit of a tower at night. And they got records right here. Receptionist. This is the building entirely for the police? Yeah, municipal court, police departments. I don't think it's gonna be. Oh, you can, well, I don't need to go in. They got the doors unlocked. So you could just walk right in. Right on in anywhere. And, uh, yeah. Pretty sure that this is, uh, locked up. Yep. You'd make your call for complaints here. Alright. So this whole building, they got a big police force, I'm guessing. You needed help? No, nah, I was just looking and see your door got was unlocked. So I was oh, like, okay. I was yeah. originally attracted to the nice sign, the lights and stuff. Oh, okay. I checked the door and it's unlocked, so I just right. think well, this is our lobby area. Where you complain. Hmm? Well, I don't think you complain on this thing. No, no. Do you, uh, do you want to file a report? Uh, no, no. I, I didn't come for, to file any reports. I oh, just okay. came just look, just looking. I'm just surprised this whole building is all for police. Uh, yes, you got a big. You must have a big court. force. Oh, it's also because of the court. Right. That's going to take a lot of people too. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you have a good night. Yeah, you too. Right, thank you. <clears throat> oh. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<clears throat> All right. Medical disposal. Fiscal subprint grant application. Memorial justice assistance. Comments. Memorial justice assistance. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 